Scorpio, welcome to your intimate tarot read or sexual energy read. Uh, for my regulars, you already know what's up from this reading type. You know what to expect. I decided to do away with a long intro explaining what intimate tarot is. So if you are new and you're just kind of wandering in, you've never seen intimate tarot before, or it's been a long, long time since you've been acquainted with it. If you want to know what intimate tarot is, what it isn't, what it's about, the purpose it serves, why I read it, so on and so forth, it will be outlined for you in the description box. When in doubt, description box. Questions, description box. I will say this, if you read it and you are still confused about what it is, okay, or you still feel in any way morally conflicted about it, don't watch it. That's it. It's not for you. It's no big deal. I have a whole back catalog of messages you can catch up on. If you just want to go directly to my channel page, click on some videos. Everything's nice and neatly organized into playlists. Yeah. What's going on, please? Show me that Scorpio intimate. And sexual energy. Show me that Scorpio intimate and sexual energy. Show me that Scorpio intimate. And sexual energies, please. What's going on, please, for Scorpio? Show me Scorpio. Show me Scorpio. Don't know what's going up with the lighting today. I'm using the same equipment. It might look hyper lit. I have no idea why, but it's looking like that right now on the camera. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm not a techie. <laughs> there you go. What's going on, please? Show me Scorpio. Show me Scorpio. Show me Scorpio. And their intimate and sexual energies. Show me Scorpio. Like always. Regardless of what I see here today, take what resonates, leave it does not, reverse those energies as you see fit. These are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate. Normal. Frustrating, but normal. Check your other placements. You will find yourself in there somewhere. What's going on, please? Show me Scorpio. The lovers. The queen of pentacles. Yay. Okay. Two of pentacles. Three of pentacles. That's different. Very different. Yours is like, I'm loving my lovers so hard right now. And somebody over here is like, I don't know what's going on. What? What? What is going on? Wait, okay. <laughs> Let's see that connecting. To, you don't know? It's a sword. Okay. Next several weeks and or months. Seven of cups. Ace of cups. Knight of cups. Love is on the table here in a very realistic way. I got to see what the heck's going on. Because as far as I can tell, you look very secure in a strong connection. And I mean, very secure in a strong connection. Like, you are all up in that. It looks good. And then somebody else is over here like, are we friends? Okay. And the two of swords is bridging. Confusion. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, but then we have seven of cups, ace of cups, knights of cups. Um, somebody somewhere wants to express themselves. And it's all to do with love. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming the sexual energy is in there too. It's one of the reasons why I read sexual tarot right here is to case in point. Typically, sexual energy and emotional energy is tied together. Very rarely is it completely separate. Now, don't get me wrong. You can have completely emotionally disengaged sex. How gross. Uh, but that's just not my gig. If that's your thing, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to yuck on your yum, as they say. I'm not. It's just a per... It's just... That, to me, that... Eh, alien. Ew. Uh, but no... <laughs> <laughs> if that's your thing, that's your thing. But typically when we see the heart space in intimate terror like this, the sexual intimacy, the feeling of it uh, is in there too. So there's the potential of a, a huge heart space coming towards somebody in the future. So what the hell's up with that opening? Let's take a look at you. Because by all rights, it looks like you're comfortably with somebody. Um, very comfortably. You know, a queen, king and queen of pentacles, they tend to be very claiming in their sexual energy. You don't have to have any earth in your chart to appreciate that. It's like saying, I'm very comfortable and my body is devoted to a strong connection and as happy as a clam there. Thank you. Um, no pun intended. Let's see that lovers, please. Some of the lovers, some of the lovers, some of the lovers. Some of the lovers, please. Some of the lovers, some of the lovers. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Some of the lovers, please, for Scorpio. It's quiet today. Um, another second day. It's Cinnamon's second day in uh, doggy daycare. I'm so excited. She's getting social training. Um, she's loving it. She's absolutely loving it. Comes home exhausted. <laughs> but she needed it. She absolutely needed it. Uh, I just love it, though. It's so quiet. It's so quiet without Cinnamon here. Let's see the lovers. Show me the lovers. Show me the lovers. Show me. Let's do one more. Show me the lovers, please. Show me the lovers. The Ace of Swords, the Stars, the Seven of Cups. You, your, your, your energy emotionally, uh, sexually is unfolding with somebody. And it's beautiful. It looks like it's just started to take root. To be honest with you, 
Again, no pun intended. <laughs> but uh, you are exploring a very promising option. Uh, it, it looks like it just started, and it's a strong truth. It, it, you've, in other words, you just started to feel it as possibly being it more significant in your life with the stars here. Um, it looks very, very fulfilling emotionally, sexually, everything. It's the swords. You know it as a truth. This connection by all rights is becoming more comfortable to you every day. And you're starting to see a vision with it, with the star, something that you are learning to crave every day. In terms of the lovers and the stars, an exquisitely strong combination. More so when you actually get to experience it, like physically exchange with it. It's that time where it's like you, after sex, some really deep, heavy, intense, intimate sex. Yes, you literally see stars, <laughs> that kind of thing. It's beautiful. You've just started the process of seeing this connection for what it is. Um, and it's recent. It's very recent. The beauty of the connection, what it's meaning to you. And it started out as what looks like an option. A classic seven of cups, let's try these cups out kind of thing. And then it started to grow in significance. It looks like you really just started to um, merge with this person, if you will. So... You're getting more comfortable with it every day, and it's becoming more and more something towards you or meaningful towards you every day as it takes, like I said, deeper root in your life and in your world and yours and theirs and they and yours. Let me say that Queen of Pentacles. Very comfortable, sensual being that you are, right? You like to have your senses gratified, what you can touch, taste, see, hear, etc. And also someone, King, Queen of Pentacles in sexual energy classically means I'm very comfortable with my physical form. Right, uh, your body overall. You know how it is you like to be touched. You know how it is you like to experience yourself and others. That kind of thing. Okay, uh, fairly comfortable with sexual energy in the overall sense. It's not just fire, which you would think is the king queen of wands. No, it's your actual physical form. That tells me how comfortable you are with sex. What's going on, please? Show me that. It's beautiful, really. So that Queen of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups, and the Knights of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It took you some time, Five of Cups for us, you guys. You have to say this all the time because it can confuse Scorpios who are not used to it, as well as the Cross Watchers. Five of Cups for Scorpio is incredibly normal. We're used to carrying it. The point is, is just don't be overly indulgent with it. It's one of the things that makes us a power sign is the Five of Cups. It's not just always understanding sadness, but it gives us our ability to empathize. Okay. So the more you understand what emotional echoes are, pain, okay, the more likely, A, you can handle it, deal with it, process it faster, but you also are empathetic by extension. Uh, so what you're showing me here is that you took your time with this. You really took your time with this. You didn't just go out and give your sexual energy to this person overnight, this lover's connection. Um, you said that you balanced with it meticulously, six of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. You insisted on taking your time with it. Okay, to develop your comfort zone, to understand if it was a good fit for you. And you actually come to find that um, not only did it feel good, you two have a lot of commonalities in terms of um, past experiences. Okay, uh, emotional damage, possibly that kind of thing, but um, it helped you feel good. You're showing me high levels of stability. And uh, when you continuously bounced with this, and then it became the actual act itself. A significance to you is unfolding over time, like I said. But you insisted on this. Six of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles. This is, I will not be rushed. Right? You and I are going to have lots of coffee dates before we have real dates. <laughs> You're gonna, like, we're going to have lots of practice dates before we have royal ones. <laughs> you know, it's like, let's go out for a candlelit steak dinner. <laughs> yeah. Let's have, like, mm, ten coffee cups kind of predates and then we'll talk about that <laughs> it's kind of like that so you took your time with it to get your comfort zone with it and that's when you i think started to feel your body unfold towards this person okay again that king queen of pentacles energy and uh, it felt good it, you connecting with this person really helped ease old disappointments something about it feels very right to you uh they seem to be like you in terms of past experiences and that's one of the things you appreciate and it lended to that sense of stability Okay. Um, 
you know, emotional insecurity or rather emotional abandonment, which is what the Five of Cups more or less is, aside from echoes, um, connecting with this consistently over time helped ease any sense of emotional abandonment. In other words, you became secure with it. Okay? That's why you're showing me high levels of security versus you could have been insecure with it. You know, it made you feel comfortable consistently. And then uh, you're unfolding to it and it feels so good. It feels really good. It must feel really good. It looks good. It feels warm, but loving and highly exploratory. Uh, this person doesn't seem to be afraid of new adventures, if you will, with the Ace of Swords here. In sexual tarot, it's a little different. So not only is it still an undisputable truth, but it's also um, exploratory. Well, let me just hold the card up for you. You'll see what I mean. So that's good, I think, for Scorpios as we... Mm, Let's put it this way. We like a sense of exploration and adventures in our intimate selves. And we have to have high levels of trust with somebody in order to do that. Um, so it's looking like you trust this person well enough to go outside your standard positions, if you will. I always said Scorpio, every Scorpio somewhere has got a little bit of a, a little bit of a freak in there, you know. But the thing is, we're exclusive. We don't just give that to anybody. We have to trust. Hence all the caution. Hence the unfolding. You get where I'm going. Okay. It feels really good, though. It's like a dream come true. Oh, I get to do these things with this person. This is great. Um, I can be myself sexually with this person. It feels really good. It does. It's beautiful, guys. And it was based on steady, consistent trust principles. Building in the real world, fair exchanges. And that led to the bliss. Now, let's... Who's this? Two and three pinnacles. I don't know if we're friends. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm confused looking at because, honey, you, you look great. You and your person, man, you guys go at it. It's beautiful. Now, so, who is this? <laughs> it says two of pentacles. Some of this two of pentacles. Seven of swords, the hanged man, the sun. They, okay. Well, that, that bums me out. Um, this person's missing you, uh, but they're not getting insight either. It's it's a constant back and forth of I should do something, then nothing gets done. Uh, Seven of Swords, the Hanged Man. The reason why somebody's playing with the Two of Pentacles, that's a elaborate, I don't know what to do game. Very elaborate, more elaborate than the Two of Swords. Uh, they're very good at it. But as far as I can tell, there's nothing for them to do because they refuse to gain any insight or understanding about the situation that I believe used to exist between you two. So I'm not sure who this is, but they're not currently in your life. They're too busy wondering if there's anything, any hope left. But then they don't actually gain any perspective about doing something. Seven of Swords, the Hanged Man. This is very passive. Um, there's no insight gained. No insight gained at all about perspective. I'm assuming, again, about a connection you two used to have that had some sort of intimacy in it. But it was an undercurrent, and I can't pick up on it because it's too far away. It's... Uh, they think about the sun with you, the warmth. They did feel warmth with you. They know that, and they, they wonder if they can ever have hope of that warmth again. But again, without insight to understand or appreciate the situation, I don't know what they're supposed to do with it. Seven of Swords and the Hanged Man, that is active rejection of learning. That is active rejection of insight. That is active rejection of gaining new perspective about the situation they had with you. And it is past tense because it's far away. It doesn't touch you anymore, if it ever did. They, they just say that they miss the warmth. The sun is, and intimate terror is exactly that. It doesn't just benefit me or you. It benefits the both of us. The sun warms both our backs, and we feel supported and uh, cared for and happy in each other's company. And that's a lovely feeling. But it's like, I don't know if I can have hope for this. Well, you're not going to have hope for nothing if you keep not gaining insight about why you even want it or miss it. What does it mean to you? I don't know why I'm saying this. You're clearly in something with somebody. It's powerful. It's beautiful. So who the hell is this? Let me see that three of pentacles, please. Show me that three of pentacles. You know, no insight gained means no actions won. I just, you're not going to know what to do with your 3D if you can't sort your shade out on the inside first. Let's see that three of pentacles, please. Let's see that three of pentacles. Let's see that three of pentacles. Show me that three of pentacles. Show me that three of pentacles, please. Four of swords, 
the Empress, the Seven of Wands. Mm. <sighs> yeah, I, I'm sure. I'm sure that, okay, so Four Swords, we'll get this out of the way. Four Swords and Intimate Tarot means uh, masturbation. And that's normal, it's healthy. I recommend everybody do it. That way you get to know yourself, your body, its needs, um, the best you can. Everything begins with the self. So the more you know about yourself sexually, so much the better you will be in partnership with someone else. So that's not the that's 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 a non-issue, at least in my book. Uh, yes, they they think about you in that way intimately in their private time on their own time. It's a very self-pleasuring. Um, and again, whatever used to flow between you two was small scale, two and three pentacles. There wasn't much there in reality. So I don't know how much material they have to work with, but as far as I can tell, you two did not sexually exchange. But they masturbate to the idea of you and perhaps whatever friendship, three of pentacles, use that very loosely, guys, uh, friendship, whatever that was there that was constructed between you two, they use that as their memory supply for self-pleasure. Okay. Um, and then they feel bad about it. There's seven of wands. And the empress here, they... It's a defensive subject. The empress, of course, is all giving, um, very generous in sexual tarot. She's tops, right? She is tops. She's also mutually exclusive for that reason. She only wants her empress. The empress wants an empress or an emperor, but someone of equal stature, not less, right? So this is someone who is supremely comfortable with their sexual energy, and they give it to one person because they love them unconditionally, adorably, whatever. But um, the Empress has no qualms about sharing her sexual energy with that one person. One. It's like um, they pleasure themselves to you and then they get frustrated by doing it. It's almost resentful. It's a resentful intimacy. And that kind of sense of helplessness. I wonder if I'll ever feel warmth again. What can I do about it? I, you know, I guess I'll pleasure myself to the idea of Scorpio. And I hate myself for it. Hmm. It's very specific. And you're not connected to this person, so I don't know how this would help you. At least you don't seem to be connected to them in present day. I don't think so. Not like that. Not like that. So like I said, what little engagement they have had with you in the real world, that's what they use to supply the fantasy and the sexual memory. Two of Swords, uh, is, this is the bridge point between you and them. You say you don't see it. Why would you? I don't see you being connected to them. They seem to have a reminiscence of you or an idea of you. And I, I, you're clearly loving someone hard and loving it. <laughs> so let's see that Two of Swords, please. Show me that Two of Swords. And it's just beginning. The strength of that connection has just begun to build in its essence. Okay. Let's see that Two of Swords, please. Show me that two of swords, show me that two of swords, show me that two of swords. Show me that two of swords, show me that two of swords. I guess they miss you, honey. I don't know what else to say. They miss you. Then they get mad at themselves for those intimate moments. I would say to this person, you know, <laughs> what you feel and, and your the, the privacy of your home and it's your fantasies, I don't want anyone to feel guilty about that. That's nonsensical, okay? That, that's just the way that is, okay? Um, but this idea of, well, shucks. I'm out of ideas about what happened. This, we need more insight here about why we're holding on to this, why we still uh, satisfy ourselves to the idea of Scorpio and what it used to represent or if it ever represented anything. Um, that is what we need more insight on because there's, there's a bunch of stuckness and it hasn't changed in this modality for some time. Okay, it, you you don't see this. You don't see this. You're not connected. You don't see this at all. You don't see this at all. You really don't. Um, two of Swords, you, there is nothing bridging. There's a bunch of lack of insight here. You don't see any of this. It, you're, The Emperor's strength, you don't, you don't see it. Eight of Swords, Two of Swords typically is willful blindness, but you don't see this person. You're not connected to them. As far as you're concerned, you're doing fine. With the Emperor in Strength, you feel great. You know? And I, I also see somebody's active choice to not make themselves known. It's also insisted upon. So, 
Okay. I don't, I'm sorry, guys. I'm at a complete loss here. I'm at a complete loss about why I'm seeing this person when you're clearly engaged in this and it's beautiful and it's strong and you're reacting to it strongly. Like I said, it, the significance of it has just started to unfold for you sexually and otherwise. Um, the emotional component, I see more of a building there on the baseline. So let's jump on down there. Okay. There's that seven of cups. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see that seven of cups. Show me that seven of cups. Show me that seven of cups. Show me that seven of cups. You might have a friend that you are still connected with to this day, but you have no clue that they experience you like this. And they know you're in something. That's why they don't come forward. Or this is someone you disconnected from some time ago. That's what I'm actually leaning towards. Because when I say you don't see it, you don't see it. Like, seriously. Let's see that seven of cups, please. Show me that seven of cups. Eight of Pentacles, three of Pentacles, King of Swords. It's another Seven of Cups. It's not the one you opened with. It's this one. They would like to ideally, in the future, this is the first time I see conscious thought from this person, other than fragmentation about desires and, and a sense of guilt and a sense of lost hope. It, it, uh, I know. And, but now... It, the reason I'm, because that Three of Pentacles is showing up much more boldly in the future as a more crystallized idea. So this King of Swords here is much has a much heavier responsibility for knowledge. In the Ace and Three of Pentacles, there's an idea in this person that maybe they can generate some heart space activity via the Seven of Cups, which you've already experienced with someone else. Okay, just to be clear, this is their version of the Seven of Cups and what they would like to do in terms of approaching as an option for feelings to reopen the case of feelings. They want to know if they can work with you in some way. So this is some way in respect to I want to generate some emotional activity with Scorpio. I need justifiable reasons. Let's talk about work. Because yeah. it, it's coming across as work, work. King of Swords, sharp mind, declaration of truths, uh, determination, firmness. Okay, he's not exactly the biggest display on emotions, never mind sexuality. So it's coming across as very, well, this is this is a calculated thing. This is a business thing. Uh, this could benefit us both if we cooperate. What, but it's, it's, it's their premise for coming forward in a reason to ping your emotional cups to kind of maybe get your vision back on them, I suppose. Um, to try to reintroduce themselves into your life in some way, uh, to get you to put some focus back on them. I don't know. But it is coming across as what could be a proposition of a profitable alliance, i.e. work. Uh, it's not coming across as sex at all, but as a reason. You understand? You're listening. As a reason to re-engage in your feelings. So they're looking for a proposal to reach out, to work, to generate some activity. But it's coming from, I'm hoping to get back in Scorpio's Seven of Cups kind of energy. Um, it doesn't look malicious. It does look well thought out. It's miles from where they came from, lacking insight, feeling helpless, not knowing what to do, to they figured something out. How far into the future that is, I don't know. I'm not doing time checks today. I'm not doing time checks today. I honestly don't know. Let's see that Ace of Cups, please. Show me that Ace of Cups. Um, now I don't know whose heart I'm looking at at all. I got you. I got you in a lover's connection. And then I got this person. What you will do with that proposal of energy, uh, the profitable alliance is how it's coming across. I don't know. That's up to you. Okay. And it might be. But again... It is a form of justification. I'll say that Ace of Cups, like, and I will also emphasize it does not look malicious. But they needed a reason, right, to generate some activity. And there's the reason. Let's say that Ace of Cups, some of that Ace of Cups, some of that Ace of Cups. Some of that Ace of Cups, please. The Knights of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Oh. This person really wants to try. It's slow, though. It's very slow. Heavy earth energy almost across the board with a touch of Aquarius. Not that that means anything, but it's coming from the heart. 
It's coming from the heart. Not to Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and Hierophant. I mean, that's it's it's slow, but it's genuine. It's genuine. I can't say it's not. So, like I said, it is looking. For, it doesn't look malicious. I keep coming up back because it's true. It doesn't look malicious. It's not. It's like they needed a reason, uh, some sort of reason to come towards you. And I see from their point of view what the real motivation is, and that's the Ace of Cups, honey. It's love. It's. But they needed to use the Seven of Cups as a springboard, I believe. You know, hey, Scorpio, let's, let's, let's team up. Let's work together. Let's make a profitable alliance for something. And it's practical. It's real world. And I can see why it's the way it's like it's, it's, it's kind of like a version of earthy chess. <laughs> in order for me to move my heart forward in this position, I need to put down some groundwork, which is very much an earthy approach, if you're not familiar with that. Okay. Um, and I, so that's like earth chess. It is. <laughs> but, you know, again, to advance the heart space, I got to start putting stuff down in reality in order to kind of build the case for it. Right. Um, and it, it is it is genuine. If that helps you, it, it doesn't look mean. It doesn't look malicious. Um, it's and they mean it. They're from there. They mean it. They're showing up for this. Their heart's behind it. Do with that what you will. It doesn't. Even though the heart's behind it, therefore, by default, the sex in there too, they're putting the earth energy forward first. Practical. Um, let me build the case. Let me build myself. Take me seriously, please, because I'm showing up and I'm here. Again, what you will do with that, I do not know. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Show me that Knight of Cups, please. Show me that Knight of Cups. 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 The Hanged Man. The Four of Pentacles. The Sun. Yes, you thinking about the same kind of stuff they were back here. You were thinking about how long you held on to this because you felt the warmth the same way they did. Uh, so your heart is pulling in that direction a little bit, but I also don't see you giving in to it. I see you reminiscing. Okay about how your heart used to flow towards this sun, towards this person who is showing up in your future in a much stronger way than I think you last recognized them. I could get, but it's not obtrusive. It's not assuming. Just to reassure you, I'm not saying anything malicious in terms of negative thinking, agendas, or devil's energy or anything like that. So if it helps you. Um, but the Knight of Cups, here's you reflecting. I don't see you doing anything with the reflection, except your heart space remembers how it used to flow towards this sun the way that they remember it as well. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Four of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. I apologize. <clears throat> excuse me. Four of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. They had a Hanged Man for a very different reason, not having too much insight. And you are trying to refrain from looking backwards. But your heart seems to recognize them in some way that says vulnerable. This person makes you feel vulnerable. Uh, you remember the sun with them too. So you're trying not to overthink it, right? With the four of pentacles and the hanged man. Mm -hmm. You're trying not to get lost in it, the reminiscence of it, because you, you are showing me a big vulnerability when it comes to this person. Okay. Uh, what you will do, I do not know. Um, it seems like you are in something with somebody. And it looks like it's just started to unfold in a way that suggests it could be a long-term value. It is born out of the Seven of Cups, but it's a strong one. Okay. And um, you have just found yourself feeling increasingly secure with this person. You find that attractive, that sense of emotional security and um, being able to explore with this person at your own time and pace and feeling comfortable about it. Okay. And then this reemerges powerfully. Um, I have... The, the connection that you're experiencing with this energy, while it has just started, I don't see the trails of it picking up anywhere because this this person, bless them, um, <laughs> their energy kind of came in and took over the reading <laughs> because it's of some prominence in the future. I believe that's why. And where I last see you is contemplating your sense of vulnerability when it comes to this person. So it tells me you used to feel deeply for them. Perhaps you still do. And I think that's why I see you trying not to get lost in the reflection. Whether or not you will choose to work with them again, I don't know. Um, 
I couldn't say that's entirely up to you. Terror is the proof of choice, not the absence of it. Okay. You get to choose. We all do. This person had to choose to kind of get out of that sense of there's nothing I can do to understanding that there's something that they could do. That was their choice. But they mean it. Their heart's behind it. They stand up in commitment for what they're trying to achieve. And that as far as I can tell, at least, at least, bare minimum, a cooperative alliance. Strong one. Your reaction puts you into a vulnerable place towards them. I don't know what your decision is. But um, you are reacting in some way I can't quite see. Okay? It's, I'm not saying third party here. I'm saying, will you work with me? And it's very officious, but there's good motivation behind it, as far as I can tell. Okay? But it, nevertheless, we being water signs, if you have a history with this person, it looks like you do, because you're, you're looking at that sun too, the way they did. I remember the warmth with you. I also remember the vulnerability I felt towards you. And that's kind of where you leave it. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, I don't know. I was, I was pushing today. But I got to be mindful of that threshold. Oh, this is even I have to admit, I have to admit, this is one of the times I wish I was one of those folks who did extended. I don't have the time for that, guys. I don't have time for extended. I don't have time for all that. Uh, yeah, I still work, guys. I still work. I, I don't like to be bored. I am multifunctional. I do not like to be bored. I can't do just one thing. I'm never so happy as when I'm doing this, that and the other. So that's why people are like, how come you don't do all the other stuff everybody else does? First of all, let me correct that thought. I'm not like everyone else, too. I do not like to do just one thing all day. <laughs> I can't stand it. It makes me cringe. And I'm not going to tell you what else I do because I don't need to be bothered in my reality. That's why. <laughs> That's why. But uh, no, I have to admit, if I did extended, I'd be on this one like a hot potato. Like, well, no, you drop a hot potato. I'd be on this one like peanut butter and jelly. That kind of makes sense whatever anyway <laughs> i i i want to know what you're gonna do because they just your heart space lurches a little bit you're trying not to get lost in reflection but you, you this is you going and if you've ever had that emotionally vulnerable moment towards someone that you used to know in that way you're gonna ha huh. It's 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 gonna take you a minute. It's gonna catch your breath for a second, okay? It well, new love is here, and I've seen it in a couple different positions. The one you opened up with, okay, and possibly, like I said, if anything, this just represents the period of this person's heart space and coming forward and wanting to work with you, okay, and develop something in the real world, okay, romantic history or not. But it could be a refresher behind that. I don't know. I'm not looking that far out. All I can tell you is that their energy, if I'm being honest with you, it feels safe. It feels safe. That's all I know. And for us, that's kind of a big deal. That's typically how Scorpio makes the majority of their decisions in romance or otherwise. Does this feel safe? Not does it look safe? Not, you know, does it feel safe? Does this person make me feel safe? And it, so I'm glad that they got out of this. That doesn't suit them. Whatever this is doesn't suit them. Them doing something about it, this this is who they really are. Um, oh, honey, I don't know. I feel, I hate leaving you hanging. I do. I hate this. I went <laughs> a different past. I know you two went your separate ways for a while, you know, different paths. That's what I'm saying. You can't see it until you can. You don't know what they've been going through, I don't think. Yeah, in different paths. You are in different paths, but the point is, can you reemerge paths and maybe be it safe? And I don't know. Guys, I just don't know. It's so fascinating. I, I hate cliffhangers, but I, I, man, all right, I'm sorry, 
No, I don't have the time. I was about to say, I'll throw down some advice cards for you. Just, I don't have the time. All right. Check in is the trust. Is that something? Trust was broken between you and this. I'm going to call him left side. <laughs> Because you're clearly with somebody on your right side, even though it's kind of just started to deepen just a little bit. Uh, but the trust was broken. And I think that's why they're showing me such high levels of sincerity. I'm here. I'm showing up. I'm not going anywhere. Because they know something about that needing to feel safe with you, the security, consistency. They do make you feel vulnerable, don't they? They do. I'm not, it's, it scares you. It scares you, that's what I'm saying. That's it's, fear. Fear is a form of vulnerability, guys. Remember that. It is. That's, that's the price you pay for being water-oriented, is that you always feel like you're in a position of being vulnerable, and it doesn't seem other people don't have half as much of a difficulty with it compared to water people who live by their heart. You know, once that trust is broken, there's inconsistency or there's a major issue here, you're always going to feel that, like I said, you're going to have that moment where you're going to be like, ah, oh, it's you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy, I remember how you used to hit me in the heart. <laughs> you know, because the stronger the hit, the stronger the recovery if something happens, you know. I don't know what that's <laughs> it's nervous. It's making me nervous. I don't know, but it's beautiful though. It's not it It's like um like this person would know how to calm a horse, maybe. They have their own stuff internally, but when it comes to you externally, it's calm, it's patient. I'm I'm here. I'm not asking you of anything. Just maybe work with me, please. It's it's admirable actually, a little bit. Sagittarius, we have the medallion of Sag, you might have some Sag in your chart. The both of you might have Sag in your chart because these are double medallions of Sag. One just says optimist, which is the keyword for Sag, and then there's their actual medallion. Uh, dragonfly, somebody here had some extensive transformation. Uh, the stingray, that's you, you know, um, kind of coasting along, floating along, you know. For some people, sometimes you have to hide your emotions, and I kind of see you low-key doing that over here. Okay, it's a reaction. Uh, and then the medallion of Pisces is in reverse, um, the inability to feel feelings, and thus there was no fluid movement. Okay, all right. This poor person up here, they completely dropped off. I mean, this person dominated the reading, so that kind of tells me that whatever your history is, I'm sure it's powerful. Anyway, I do hope this helped you regardless. Put in the comments. Take care. Be well.